show you today is Data Rocket, how we connect to data, specifically Business Objects Universe data, and specifically how we connect that Business Objects Universe to the ClickView solution. So let's get started. Just as a quick introduction to um, Data Rocket, what I want to show you is the home page you greet it with. Um, you'll see tabs of information with reports, um, dashboards, and um, charts. To go ahead and um, illustrate, visualize that information um, you'll find from the data. The keyword is data from Data Rocket, so let's take a look at where we are there. Um, what Data Rocket does is takes all the data, all these different data sources, Oracle, SAP, Teradata, Excel, um, you name it. These are radically different data sources, so what we're trying to make them all look very generic and very usable. And that's just what we do. Connecting to the data source is very easy, um, simple click process, um, very user interfaced. Since we're focusing on business objects information, I'll start with that demonstration. So. We're going to connect to business objects. It'll predefine the fields, fill it out, set up the connectors. You identify the rest of the universe information, and boom, we're connected. So since I'm using business objects information here, I'll start here with my financials universe and build that um, file that we need to go ahead and create the connections between the BO um, data and the ClickView solution. So I'll start here, jump right in. Data Rocket sports a drag and drop interface, so what I just did was dragged over um, all those tables and universes over into my workspace. So what I did is I actually pulled over all that information, including their schemas, rules, objects, um, and metadata, including the relationships already built in there. So you're not losing a thing. It's all right here. Um, first thing we want to do is go ahead and save this, um, create a package that we can start beginning to work with. So here we go. Save the package, and done. So what's next? We'll pull that package open and set up queries so we can know what type of information, how much data, when to pull that data out of the BO universe to feed to ClickView. Um, so again, drag and drop interface. We'll throw it up here. Again, it's pulled over all the files, all the relationships, all that information is still stored right there. You can see it all. And at this point, you can create all different types of filters jump in here and create different associations between files and um, tables. I'll give you a quick example here just by setting one up. And this is important because you can use this um, on an ongoing basis. Um, like this down here, adding conditions. Um, you can go ahead and cut and paste SQL queries in here. You can build your own. Um, whatever it takes to go ahead and set up the correct filter for the information you need. And an additional filter, if you already have predefined SQL statements built, we can open up the SQL editor and go ahead and cut and paste um, any type of SQL statements you have in here just to make things simple. And probably the newest key thing that we have today um, is the, um, the built-in BO filters which allow you to go ahead and pull any type of data here um, into the filter and go ahead and run it and add it to the query so um, you can go ahead and do additional filtering all the way down to where you need to do. So with that put together, we'll go ahead and save that. Our query. And run forward with that. So we've saved the query. Now what we want to do is go ahead and grab that query and set it up as a ClickView um, friendly scripting source to go ahead and import into uh, ClickView and create that connection between the BO universe and the ClickView solution. So let me jump on that. I'll go down here. Um, as you can see, now with our filters and our queries, um, we've pretty much um, fine tuned exactly what we're pulling, the data we're pulling out for this connection. So the next thing we need to do is save this as a ClickView file. So it can be imported and connected automatically. So we have that down, down feature right here. Um, I'm going to set up um, some of the cell densities and go ahead and save that. Boom, done. Now let the clock finish. A lot of data we're processing there.
Okay, so now we've got our ClickView um, load file set up. We jump into ClickView. Um, we've got our um, workspace ready. Go ahead and edit script. Automatically it pulls up our ClickView script. You can see here it talks about all the ClickView data. However, we're still preserving all the information that um, ClickView needs to go ahead and um, import the, you know, set up the scripting, and import the data, and connect, create that connection between business objects and the ClickView um, solution. So I hit reload. As you can see here, we're executing that script now, pulling the data into a um, data store, ready to be refreshed and used for the ClickView solution. When this is done, um, we can jump right into um, showing the tables and um, go ahead and set up the dashboards in ClickView. As this finish, finishes up here, um, we'll be greeted with the, um, a list of tables and um, be able to make choices of tables and fields that we want to go ahead and use in this particular process. So uh, there's a little pause here, and boom, here we are, available fields. I'm just going to add all these for um, demonstration purposes to make this work. Um, so once we do that, and here we are. We've got our tables. We're all set up and ready to start working. Uh, I'm not going to go into the, um, the actual view building at this point. Uh, that's another session, but I thank you for your time.